a team in Notre Dame that's coming off some big victories, one against Shawnee State, a team that's very beatable. Would they be able to get the win? Let's show you the highlights. It was at CCAC South. There you see Ashley Henderson, and this team came off on fire. April Austin for three, good. How about Brittany Wilson? There she is. She's wide open. Why isn't anybody watching her? Eight to two, Pioneers. Ashley Henderson just had the great game over there. Wide open on the wing, 13 to eight. The Pioneers started off 11 of 11 from the field. Heather, or excuse me, Rachel Roddy, wide open for three. I almost said Heather Swedish. Why about that? Oh, she's right there, and she's wide open for another three, Heather Swedish. Tarika Jones? Tarika Jones from the outside? Oh, my Lord, what's the world coming to? At halftime, the Pioneers have an 18-point lead. It's 54-36. to 36. Nothing bad could happen, right? Yvette Hunter on the outside. Oh, goodness, no. McLeod? Oh, she's wide open for three. Not anymore, right? Dakin? Oh, my goodness, she's open for three. McNally? No, it, it, it couldn't. It, it couldn't be a tie. Oh, my goodness, it's tied at 64. W what happened? And Payne, wide open for three. It's going to give the it's going to give Notre Dame the lead and the win. 70 to 66. Oh, oi, Kevin. What what happened? What what happened? The, 18 the, points at halftime. Uh, 18 oi. points at halftime was oh. the Pioneers lead and they put up a whopping 12 points, Josh, oh. in the second half. Oh, that gives uh, you indigestion. That yeah, just hurts. 13% from the Ooh. field in the second half Ooh. just not not a good showing obviously for the pioneers after an 11 for 11 start they didn't miss a shot they didn't miss a shot until after the halfway point in the first half and then they turn around and don't score uh, more than 12 points in the second half it, it was hard to watch we were at the game it was it, it was like a complete different team uh coming out of the break it, it really was and I, I had a chance to talk to one of the one of the players parents and really this team was different from last year this year they had the killer instinct it, it what just wasn't there this game. Oh, yeah, it wasn't there this game. And I was talking to Jocelyn Peterkin after the ball game, and, and Peterkin, obviously, the big inside presence for this team. And, and she was frustrated with the amount of open players uh, that, that were on the outside for Notre Dame there in the second half. We saw a bunch of them. And Yvette Hunter is the key to this basketball team. When she doesn't play well, they don't win basketball games. The Pioneers outscored her 14 nothing, Josh, in the paint in the first half. And in the second half, the Pioneers just couldn't work the ball to the inside. They weren't able to do that, but again, good news is on the horizon. They have another home.